A rock is dropped from the top of a cliff, so the initial velocity here is zero. It hits the ground five seconds later. How far did the rock fall? And we'll call that delta y because it's in the up and down direction, the y-axis. And this is a clever way of finding out how high you are when you're on a cliff. Just drop a rock off the side. Obviously, take safety precautions. Don't lean over the cliff because you don't want to go anywhere near it. So what, what, do we, what does it look like we have here? We have a displacement, we have an initial velocity, we have a time that looks like the second kinematics equation, where delta y is vit plus one-half at squared. Now what do we have? We have time, that's good. Our initial velocity is zero. And then what's our acceleration? Well, we're in a gravitational field of the Earth, so a will equal minus g, right? We're negative means we're in the down direction. So let's pull our answer tab here. And yes, that's what we have here. And what's the difference between that equation and this equation? We substitute it in negative g for a. So it's minus one half gt squared. And then what's one half of 10? Because we assume g is 10 meters per second squared. It's an estimate, it's closer to 9.8. And we get v initial t minus 5t squared. Our initial velocity is 0. This term cancels out. We have this term, minus 5, times the time squared. Make sure you square the time. And we get delta y is negative 125 meters. So that means it's in the down direction from where we started on the cliff. So the cliff is 125 meters tall, but the rock dropped 125 meters, negative.